Welcome back to my never-ending collection of tweed jackets. Well, at least one's actually not tweed. This is very pretty. Oh, this fabric was so messy to work with. I'm so glad it's almost finished. As you can see, the hem's not done yet. Neither are the cuffs because I haven't put the beading on yet. And I did think about just leaving it the way it is, but it needs the weight of either a chain inside or beads outside, and I prefer beads. So I think I'll just do black beads on this one, just jet black. I think that'll be gorgeous. I love the velvety feel of that one. And then this one is, I think it's like a vintage, Linton Tweed. I bought it in this um, fabric store in the posh part of town and at the city I was living in at the time and um, it's just if you see it's got cellophane in it I think it's like from it looks like it's from last century and uh, it's just so fabulous. It was this woman and um I don't know, I think it was her dream to open up a fabric store or something. Maybe a great aunt had left her money. And um, she just bought fabrics that she liked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure people who live in, you know, the Park Avenues go and buy fabric and have their suits made. I think they just buy from the designer stores. So, yeah, I got a pretty good deal and I bought a couple of things. And I got a pretty good deal on them because I don't think she ever actually really sold anything. It's kind of just her play shop. But I just love these colours. The yellow is a little too mustard. There's two different types of orange. The cellophane is orange and there's the bright gaudy orange. And then there's the hot pink that's sort of more magenta. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's also purple shots through the black background. It's just too much. And I love it. It's just fabulous. So I know most people would just do a uh, plain black um, beading, beaded trim to tone it down. But I don't know, I'm kind of, kind of like the idea of using um like big black bead glass beads to add the weight but also adding some sequins i'm not sure i think i'll do the the black sections of it and then try a little bit of the the seek the um novelty sequins in the leaves and the butterflies and all those sort of things and see how they work together and sort of decide after that but yeah oh this one i forgot to with the magic of movie editing oh, do they look adorable together i bought some fabric at the um black friday sales because clearly i need more fabric but isn't this adorable i wouldn't normally have bought it i like how sort of old-fashioned Looks like a vintage print or a heritage print. And I just, I love, it's very Dries Van Noten to um, have two clashing floral prints. But um, I also like the way these colors are sort of matchy matchy. Oh, and I just realized, I think I put the fabric on upside down. Oh no, the waspy bee thing's the right way up. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, I bought all these cotton fabrics, um, gorgeous printed fabrics with really, really loud floral designs and some are just novelty fun ones. But I think because I was next year, I'm thinking of doing one um, video, posting one video a week of me making a new jacket. And I thought, geez, that's like 52 jackets that I'd have to make each year. But if every second, the jackets aren't that hard to make, but the beading is 
takes at least two or three times as long as it takes me to make a jacket. So yeah, I thought if I make a jacket in one video and then the next week I make either a shirt or a dress that I could wear with the jacket that I just made, then that will make it easier for me, give me a little cushion where I can do all my intricate beading. So yeah, also I tend to just wear my jackets with a t-shirt, jeans and heeled boots, like the Parisian uniform. And that's fun and all, and it's gorgeous. But I thought this way I'll sort of go out of my comfort zone a bit and expand my wardrobe. So yeah. And I think I'll do a fabric haul video because I've watched a few of those and they're fun to watch. So yeah, I think those two look really good together and it'll look even better once the black beading is on. And this one, yeah, I totally think it just needs to be even more over the top. That'd be super fun. So that is what I'm going to do with those two.